Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the James Julia Auction House up in Maine, taking a look at some of the guns that they're going to be selling in their upcoming Spring of 2018 Firearms Auction. Now, there are engraved guns, and there are engraved guns. And this is one of the latter. This is actually a firearm from the Royal Collection of King Louis XV of France, and it is tremendously magnificent. Uh, so, Without any further ado, I'm going to go straight to some close-ups of this so that you can see just the immaculate work on this gun, because you can't see it from back there. This isn't just any rifle, either. This is actually a Lorenzoni pattern repeating firearm. So normally you would see an opening here in the top, and normally you would have an opening for the magazine here on the side. If you're not familiar with the Lorenzoni system, Definitely check out some of my other videos on those rifles. Uh, there will be links to those at the end of this video. But what we have here is a rotating breech lever that allows you to reload the action. This is approximately a 38 caliber rifle, and you can see from the muzzle that it is in fact rifled. The magazine access is not in fact anywhere on the side of the action. Instead, you get to that through the butt plate. There is a trap door on the butt plate, and a little button right here. When I push that, it opens up, and that is where you would put uh, the projectiles, and that is a little tube for powder that would funnel into the action. I believe there used to be a cover plate for the powder, which has since uh, broken. And you can see there's a little tab there that prevents the round balls from falling back out. The decoration on this I really can't overstate. Uh, the stock has uh, a bunch of silver inlay in it. It's really rather impossible to overstate the, uh, the artistic effort put into this rifle. Uh, on the back end of the stock we have primarily silver inlay, as well as some really deep engraving in the wood itself. There's a little bit of a hidden surprise up here on the top of the stock. We have a crown here, and if we push this button back, underneath is a portrait of Louis XV. More silver inlay on the opposite side. What would be called a grotesque face inlaid into the, or carved into the stock here on the back of the wrist. And just look at the detail of that engraving. That is another portrait of Louis. Three fleur-de-lis of the House of Bourbon. and Royal Crest. This rifle was manufactured by a German gunsmith and presented by German nobility to King Louis, uh, and it's engraved here with the name of the manufacturer, uh, Sebastian Hauschka of Wolfenbethel. And the barrel itself is just this magnificent Damascus A silver front sight blade. Some additional decorative elements on the bottom of the stock as well. Not to mention, oh, just that on the bottom of the trigger guard. Now there is only one other marking on this rifle, and it's that number, 464, right there. That was the inventory number of the French Royal Cabinet des Armes, the, the arms collection. And there were three main inventories done of this firearms collection, which began in the late 1600s. Uh, this rifle was present in the 1775 inventory, which took place uh, just after Louis XV had died. Now in 1789, the French Revolution broke out, and a lot of this collection was dispersed. 
Um, obviously there was quite a bit of chaos and a lot of looting of the royal, uh, various royal collections. So many of the, well some, of the rifles from this collection have turned up across Europe. This particular one has a really fantastic backstory, I think. This actually uh, came out of the estate of an American officer who had been stationed in Europe at the end of World War II. And he actually recognized, well, he, he noticed the elaborately decorated stock of this rifle in a pile of like 150 captured guns, or turned in guns, that were to be destroyed. And he pulled it out of the pile and took it home himself, uh, recognizing that it was not your average run-of-the-mill 22 or shotgun. And so it actually stayed in his family until now, so about 75 years, uh, when they decided to put it up for auction. Now when it came back from Europe, it wasn't quite in this, uh, this nice of a condition. Um, it did need some restoring, there was a crack in the stock, uh, some of the silver inlay had come loose, and it was expertly restored. In fact Julia has pictures of it pre and post restoration, but uh, in its current guise, as it has been restored to original, it is an incredibly magnificent piece of work. Guns like this are rarely see seen outside of museums, and very rarely up for private sale, so it's really been a, uh, a treat to get to look at something like this up close without having to see it through glass. And if you're the sort of person who has the resources to add a royal firearm to your own personal collection, well, this sort of opportunity does not come up very often. So take a look at the description text below. You'll find there a link to the Julia catalog page on this uh, rifle. That includes their pictures, their provenance, uh, their value estimates, everything else you would need to know to place a bid on the rifle. Although I would think if you are considering buying this, you would probably come to the auction house in person to examine it yourself and participate live in the auction. Thanks for watching.